Hello everybody and welcome back to another unreleased DLC vehicle in GTA 5 video. I didn't say that correctly at all. My last video um, got quite a bit of attention and a few comments and someone actually commented asking if I can make a video on the Vapid Hustler. Um, this is a car I didn't actually know wasn't released yet to be honest. I when I last when I made the last video a couple of well a couple of days ago I um, I spawned this in and I like drove around in it a little bit, but I didn't realize it wasn't online So here I am today making a video on it. and if it's online at the time of this going out I recorded this Thursday. No, I didn't Wednesday the 3rd of January It's coming out on the 4th and uh, if, it, if it was online before then I just logged into online I couldn't see it. So maybe I'm just an idiot But yeah, this as far as I know is an unreleased vehicle though probably be something in the description if it's been released and I'm completely wrong but yeah Vapid Hustler it's a, it's a cool ass hot rod I mean it sounds cool as hell I'm hoping but um, I accidentally spawned in spawned in Franklin earlier and <laughs> he's just been walking around ever since uh, but yeah yeah so this 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 little is it a muscle hot rod hot rod car um, it's, it's said to be priced around six hundred thousand GTA dollars I think which I don't know it's, that's super expensive for such a small such a small vehicle I, I'm, I'm unsure like sorry car. buddy sorry about that but yeah anyway I figured we should go to pay and spray or Los Santos customs or whatever it's called here anyway and uh, we should definitely see what the hell we could do it looks like it's it should be like a Benny's vehicle I don't know why oh, but there's nothing bullshit. to say whether it will or won't be I'm, I'm, I don't think it will be to be honest because that'd be a bigger deal Anyway, let's get to pay and spray the best way we can. And that is, of course, by spawning on the roof and slowly falling to the floor, which seems to be a common thing. Whenever I teleport to the pay and sprays, they always make me, make me spawn on the roof, which is cool. I'm cool with it. But also, the, the funny thing about the last video is it was kind of way more interesting because I really thought the, the vehicle looked like a Simpsons car. I, I couldn't find a Simpsons car that this looked like, so uh, it, it looks like a generic muscle hot rod thingy okay cool let's uh What's let's let's get to now? repairing it and uh that doesn't actually look like there's too much that we can do i'm gonna go through do the armor stuff just very quickly all right there's that all done okay so we're gonna start off with the bumpers we've got front bumpers and rear bumpers we've got front what we've we got the front bumper delete which is which is damn cool and then the front rusty bumper i think if anything it should come with this bumper first as in instead of this one and then you should have to upgrade to a chrome one I, d I don't know I'm gonna go for the front bumper delete I guess rear bumpers again we've got the delete and then the rusty rear uh, I'm gonna s I'm gonna go with the delete just because it gets rid of that number plate but I genuinely really think it should come with the with the rusty one first but actually for six hundred thousand bucks no way actually it should come with a good one exhaust okay so we have oh, I'm guessing we're gonna have some side exit yeah we do Short upswept. Oh god, that's cool. That is actually really cool. Um, low upswept, which is even cooler, but we could do maybe a bit of bodywork like right there, I guess. But yeah, that's still cool. Um, then we've got the stinger, which is like, what do I call that? I think I call that like the foghorn or something like that in, in my head anyway. And then the side exit. Oh my days, that removes like the whole side. Although, I feel like we've kind of, I really want that as an option. But I feel like we've kind of already got this vehicle in GTA, like with with the with the side just completely off. Am I wrong? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go for these. No, actually, I I have to go for the side. No, I'm not gonna go for this. This is so hard to decide. I'm just doing one, all right. Low upswept pipes. We're doing it. No, we're not. We're doing short upswept pipes. I'm so undecided. Grill. We got the rusty grill. We got the salty grill which is also kind of rusty. We can remove it, which looks kind of ugly. Nose delete, which doesn't look too ugly. Chrome mesh, which is VIP as fuck. And then we've got the uh, the black mesh as well. So I'm kind of a fan of just completely stripping the front end of this, but I'm not going to yet. I might have to make another one of these, you know, I'm so undecided. All right, we're gonna go for the chrome. Oh, should we? I like seeing the engine, but the chrome mesh just looks VIP as all hell. Um, okay, hood. So we can remove the hood. Triple intake bug catcher, which is just huge. Uh, single take, and then high rise ram pipes. Again, uh, I think I'm going to leave the hood on. To stick with my VIP build, I'm going to leave the hood on. 
Okay, we're definitely going to make another one of these. So, so please stick around for that. Um, and then we've got the Xenon lights here, which is uh, which is stupid. They should never have these on old cars. Livery. All right, this is what I'm interested in. We need we need a VIP style livery. All right, right. Basic pinstripe. Kind of cool. Actually, very very VIP. Yellow flames. No. Purple flames. Uh, very cool, by the way. Very cool, but not not what I want. This is actually awesome. Rapid vapid. Hustle time. Rust, just some patina. Even even Rockstar at this point can't be bothered to, to name them. Barn find, which is also kind of uh, patina. Custom racer, and I love this look so much. I don't think it suits this build, or probably the, the next one I'm thinking of doing, but actually it, it does suit the next one, so we'll, we'll keep it there. Uh, Rusty dragger, that suits the next one even more. Salty rod. Oh, I get it, because people take hot rods on salt flats a lot, so they tend to end up looking like this, which is cool. And that's it. Um, actually, for this build, I'm going to go for the, the basic pinstripe. I really do like that. I'm not going to exit. Plate, it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, and then roof. What, what roof options? We've got sunshade, which it has to be. It has to be. Skirts. Okay, so we can... What does that do? Am I missing something? Oh man, that is so cool. Although I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave them on. <laughs> I'm gonna remove the side panels because I don't know what that does. Unless that's something like a secondary color. All right, let's actually before we do anything, let's slam it to the ground. Obviously, as, or as much as we can. I don't like to use mods to slam it. Like, there's a mod called Slam It. No, there's a mod called. I can't even remember. Um, but for the sake of these videos, I don't really want to do that. I love the mod, but I don't want to. I don't want to do it for these. Uh, wheels as well. I, I'm actually a fan of the wheels that are already on it because um, they're chrome. But let's just go for wheel type, muscle, and then. Oh, no, actually, they're cooler in black. Oh, they're cooler like this. Okay, cool. Get them like that. And uh, now we should pick a quick respray color, primary color. Okay, we do have a secondary color, so I'm just going to go matte. And then, yeah, that's it. Oh my. Oh my god, that's, that's beautiful. So I take it the. If we go to metallic as well. Yeah. Okay. All right. I've I've got an idea for the color anyway. So we're gonna go for metallic, and I am genuinely just thinking black on black. But actually, that's not. Eh, I'm so I'm so my brain is hurting. All right. Yeah. No. I'm gonna go for black, and then we're gonna go pearlescent and also black. So it's just as black as black can be. Or oh, should we actually no? Should we go for the frosty white? We should definitely go for the frosty white. Oh, I'm so torn right now. What do I do? All right, I'm going to go for the frosty white as a pearlescent. Secondary color is also, I'm just going to stick to black. And yeah, that's that. That that's pretty much that done. Let's go outside. I definitely need to change the weather though, because this, this needs good weather. Oh my God, just here she is. This thing's an absolute beast. Oh, I thought it did a little squat there as I, as I accelerated. This is cool as hell. <laughs> I, I'm not... I must say, I'm not a massive fan of like hot roddy type cars. I don't know what it is about them that's unappealing to me, but they also have a huge appeal. It's really weird. Like, I probably would never own one in real life if I had the opportunity. I'd much rather spend the money on something else. But yeah, this is this is cool. For GTA spec, it's awesome. All right, we're going to spawn another one and I'm going to take it into Benny's and we're going to modify that just real quick too. All right, so going against what I said uh, before, I do, I still don't think you should have to pay for the rusty one, but I'm going to put it on anyway. We're going to go for the rear. We're also going to go rusty, or maybe actually we'll go for a delete again. Um, and then exhaust, we're going to go for the side exits. I don't know if you guessed it last time. I pretty much they made the decision the second I saw them. Uh, the grill, uh, we're going to go for a nothing. So this is completely stripped back. That's, that's the look I'm going for. Remove the hood. Um... And then the livery is going to be the Rusty Dragger. Man, this is just cool. Plate, doesn't matter. We don't we don't need one. Respray, matte, obviously. Oh, what color should she be? One thing I don't actually like is that the engine changes color. Uh, that's what made me think it was going to be like a Benny's type thing. We're going to go for yellow again. Uh, I, I feel like I've been for yellow in a previous build. Obviously not on this actual car, but... Man, she looks she looks pretty damn cool. I'm not gonna lie. Secondary color, I don't think we can see it anyway. Uh, if we go to Matt, oh yeah, oh nice. I feel like this should be like, yeah, white. So so it's different. 
So it's almost like we've taken the, 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 the body off and put it on another frame. All right, yeah, good. I'm, I'm, I'm digging it, I'm digging it. Roof, we're going to go for the sunshade. No, we're going to stick to standard. No, no sunshade. I think the sunshade is more of like a VIP type thing anyway. Remove side panels, which, again, I don't know. And then remove skirts. And then remove fenders. The good thing about the um, the buying them exhaust is you don't have to pay an extra 4,000 bucks to... Uh, to, to remove the skirts if that's what you're into. So if you want a nasty look at build where you um, obviously strip the sides down and have the pipes coming out the side of the engine, then fair enough. In fact, I'm, I'm actually thinking about that now. Uh, we want to go lower it down as much as we can. Transmission, turbo. Uh, we're going to pick different wheels for this just for the sake of it needing to look like a rusty type crappy build almost. I think these are good enough, but we need to definitely change the color. I don't really know what colour would suit... Ah, oh, red. It's always red. Red makes wheels look terrible. In the best way, I mean, that's not... If you've got red wheels and I'm, and I'm offended you, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm real sorry. Um, tire Heartsman. We've got Bulletproof for no reason. And I think that's just about it. Windows, we don't need to... In fact, if we could remove the windows, that'd be great. But we can't. Alright. That's our second freaking build. Look at this thing. It's dreadful. But it's cool as hell. Oh my god, it's nasty. I really, really like this. You know how I said I wasn't into hot rods? It's because they don't all look like this. That sort of hot rod, the VIP style, I guess I'm not too into. But this is totally me, and I love it so much. I couldn't resist but build one more, but but that's where I'm definitely going to call it. I didn't record that one for a reason. These are awesome. It's still, in my opinion, my favorite release is the Canis. Um, Camacho, I think it's called. And uh, I can't wait for that to come. But I also am super excited for this and just to see people driving around in these absolute beasts. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I'm really sorry if this car has been released by the time the video came out or if it was released that months ago and I really didn't catch it online. But yeah, this was actually requested in my last video. Someone was nice enough to comment down below and tell me what to do. If you would like me to modify any of the cars that have been released, any car that has been released or anything like that, then just let me know down below and I'm more than up for doing it to please y'all. Okay, cool. That's where I'm going to leave it. If you like the video, hit thumbs up. If you like the videos, go and hit subscribe. And I will see you in a bit.